So this is going to be organized uh, by brand with ColourPop and Wet n Wild, and then miscellaneous highlighters, and then miscellaneous blushes, which I didn't really swatch because they're just blushes. They look pretty similar in the pan, while highlights pretty much need to be swatched. Um, starting with ColourPop. These are the blush and light sticks in the Call Me Big Poppy set, or these two were the freshly squeezed, uh, or whatever orange-themed set for the orange collection. These are amazing. I absolutely love them. They swatch impressively. They build. They don't act weird over powder or cream. And then they blend out amazingly. Really, if you're the type of person that likes, you know, like, a quick, low-effort low thing, these are definitely what you want. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers is Nisi Pisa, and if you haven't seen her, she's great. Check her out. But this is the ColourPop powder. This is the ColourPop blush in the shade My Sun, Sun and Stars. I am bringing up Nisi Pisa because she has a video about how she loves makeup names and this for me <laughs> along with under pressure and that one blush stick it's just oh I, you can't expect me to get this and not you know get it you can't have a name like that and not expect me to buy it and i wear this blush a lot it's a really cute luminous blush it has you know a nice pink color with an with a gold shift I really enjoy it. Wish I didn't give Kathleen money, Kathleen Lights money when I bought it, but you know, um, this doesn't. Oh, actually, I'm gonna go with these two first. These are my Super Shock lip or cheek products. This is the Blush in Rain, and this is the highlight in Spellbound. Rain is a lovely blush. I really like purple blushes. However, this is not a, night, a very pigmented blush. I have to really beat it up. And if these weren't so hard to screw off, I would have shown you how much I have beat it up to get any pigment out of this. Spellbound, however, I love it. It never The camera never, never does it justice, but it's this beautiful like purple sparkle and the white base you see here it just like completely blends out there is no whiteness left behind it's not ashy on anybody i love all of these. and these last two this is a little goofy of me this is a body glitter it's in the shade star party whenever i go out i put this all over my chest and on my cheekbones and i feel like you know, glittery royalty. I enjoy this very much. And this is the Super Shock in their shade Birthday Treat. This was super limited edition only for their birthday celebration back in May. So you cannot get this anymore, unfortunately. I use this as a eyeshadow and highlight. If you can't notice, it's been very loved. I've already hit pan on it after two months, which is good because Super Shocks super dry out. Next is Wet n Wild. Uh, caveat here, I cannot in good faith recommend you Wet n Wild because a couple of months ago it came out that they have been lying about their cruelty free status for a year. So I know I have a Maybelline thing right here, but here's the thing. Maybelline never lied about being cruelty-free. They did. At the same time, however, they have really beautiful highlighters. This is the Illuminating Palette. I like three of these shades. This one doesn't get to talk to me because it doesn't have any glow in it at all. 
these three make it, you know, fiscally worth it. I bought the entire collection for the Flights of Fancy and the Fire Dragon Ice Dragon because I make because I made very good choices with my money when I was severely depressed and working at McDonald's. Um, Flights of Fancy is really cute. These are not blushes for anyone. These are highlighters. They're just baked highlighters. They're really nice, though. These are the highlighters. Um, you might think that this would be more for deeper skin tones, but... It is also pretty flattering on me. The difference here is this has more of like a tealish, almost greenish shift, and this one has just a pure blue shift. I enjoy all of these, but I feel bad talking about it because I don't like supporting liars. Alright, on to miscellaneous highlights. This is the BH Cosmetic Black Light Highlight Palette. I use all of these shades all the time. If you cannot see how damaged this thing is these three shades I dropped it these four shades I dropped it once I repressed these because I could not stand to have this not in my life I use it very often but it's kind of a fair people only thing except for the shade on point my favorite shade right here is whenever you mix queen and illusion it's a beautiful like unicorn look Elf highlighters. Um, these are not very sparkly and blinding. That's why I don't use these that much. If anything, use these if you want a, you know, like, slight, 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 barely noticeable glow. This is in the shade Pink Diamonds. This is in Blush Gems. I really more prefer these in the pressed form instead of the baked form. Oh, for a Nikki Tutorials and Everglow. I very much enjoy this. I do not think I would have paid the full $35 for this. I got this in a beauty bag. Um, and I depotted the top shade because it was just too dark for me. So that's in limbo right now. But these two shades are very nice apart and mixed together. Maybelline Master Chrome. This is in Molten Peach. If you have ever seen any beauty YouTuber, you've heard people rave about this. And it is very nice. It has a really, like, moussey texture, but it's not cruelty-free. Juvia's Place Highlighters. Here's the thing. I absolutely love these. However, I can only wear these between the months of May and September because they only fit me on my summer shade when I wear foundation. So, I have been trying to pan these, or I've been trying to pan Nefertiti so that I can get the their new light shade, because I just jumped on this whenever they came out with highlighters, and this is a gorgeous loose highlighter. I really love loose highlighters. And I think I'm like two-thirds of the way through this, like, I'm very proud of myself for how much I've been using this. This is a Royalty 2, which I bought because I heard somewhere that's a little lighter than Nefertiti. It's not. They're the same shade. One of them has... Nefertiti has a more sparkly glow, which I like more. Royalty 2 has a more shiny and wet glow. However, I do both enjoy these. If you are not off-put by the whole Juvia's Place controversy, which I will not really cover here. And now, blushes. So, I only have three solo blushes because most of my blushes are ColourPop because I have a problem. And this is a Milani Baked Blush in Rose Doro. Everybody loves this. And if you don't, if you can't make this work for you, um, you might need to see somebody about that because I've seen everybody of every skin tone say how much they love this. Um, this is the Kale this is the Kaleido or Kaleido uh, blush in Are you not gonna focus? 
I don't th and prima donna, and this is also a very cute blush. I used it a lot. I got this in Ipsy. I would not recommend using buying luxury brands at the full price. And this is the next uh, blush in the shade Pool Party. It's cute. Um, it's kind of like under pressure in powder form or my sun and stars if it was a matte blush. So that's all of this. And next time it's going to get even worse because it's lipsticks and I have a an order from ColourPop coming in. And there's like eight lipsticks in there because I went hog wild on their 40% off lipstick sale. Bye.